Hello again, I'm Corey with uh, Cranberry Alarm RI3D and uh, before me I've got our first iteration of a shooter prototype. Um, before we try it out, I want to talk a little bit about uh, what it's composed of and how it works so that uh, people at home can replicate it if they would like to. So you can see that we have uh, two sets of, of wheels left and right of the note and these are powered by the new uh, Neo Vortex motors. Super handy since we just were able to put a half inch hex through and those are driving these uh, four inch thrifty bot um, solid wheels, the 45 durometer. Um, and then on the back of this plate, you're not gonna be able to see it very well. There's a, uh, a belt system which is tying the first wheel to the second wheel. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. Animark is your one-stop shop for all your robotics competition needs. Celebrating 20 years of quality robotics parts and superior service, Animark employees have over 200 years of first-team experience. From mechanical and electrical products to tools and hardware, head on over to Animark.com for high-quality and affordable solutions. We, we ended up going with wheels on both sides and two wheels um, in order to maximize contact with the note um, in order to make sure it gets up to full speed before leaving the shooter. So without running the motors, here's what it looks like. Um, the current compression between uh, the, well, the current compression on the note is five inches. So note is 14 inches wide. We're compressing it down to nine inches. And then the distance between these two wheels here is like an inch and a quarter. So overall it's, it's around five and a quarter between centers. All right, so now we'd like to show uh, some shots of the shooter into a mock goal that we have here. Um, can't guarantee that it's exactly accurate, but generally. Uh, the angle of the shooter is at 57 or 58 degrees right now. Forgot to mention that earlier, but here's a couple shots. Our shooter's currently at 57 degree angle. And then, uh, yeah. so another thing that people have been asking about is um, having wheels on only one side. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna disconnect the wheels for this, this right side and have only these wheels spinning and see how that sh fires the, uh, the notes. So that was a little bit of our uh, shooter firing. First prototype, we've got a lot of work to do. Um, people have been asking about whether we're going to be making a fixed angle or a variable angle shooter. Right now our plan is to keep it at a fixed angle. Uh, we still need to figure out that exact angle. And we also have no uh, speed control on the motors, so finding a good speed at this uh, five inch compression is the next step. Stay tuned for more fun YouTube videos. Um, we're going to be updating you along the way. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. 
Animark is your one-stop shop for all your robotics competition needs. Celebrating 20 years of quality robotics parts and superior service, Animark employees have over 200 years of first-team experience. From mechanical and electrical products to tools and hardware, head on over to Animark.com for high-quality and affordable solutions. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell to stay up to date on our new videos. Keep the conversation going and provide your input to our content. Watch our live shows at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Join our Discord at discord.gg forward slash first updates now and check out Fun FTC on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and First Updates Now on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter.